We sure are, Rangers. Just don't do anything to disappoint me, okay? Roger that. Stay sharp. Team November, I'm here on B. This is an infinitesimal reward. I'll let her know you got it. Stay sharp. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. I knew trouble would come from keeping these people here. Now, what can I do for you? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful tra- I understand now. What can I do for you? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? You mean a transfer of power to you? Storming the palace and fighting the marshals, confronting old Saul in his throne room, because that is what it would come to. Hmm. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. I would not support you. Thus... 
If you want me to remain here and to continue giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Certainly. Safe travels, Rangers. It would seem the refugees have difficulty understanding the absolute necessity of good manners. High praise for Team November. Everyone seems to be most impressed with your efforts. You must be minding your manners very well. And a most pleasant day to you too, November. Best job ever. Those troublemakers gotta go. Nice to finally have some lights around here. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict. There's no more exhilarating feeling than being shot at with no result. outside Denver. The oil's flowing again! Honest to God, I didn't think we'd last another day. Now, we got our heat back, and enough to spare to run the generator at night. The missus is cooking up something special to celebrate. Oh, it's gonna feel good to have hot food again. I don't know.
the Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because, in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. A world in chaos is ripe for the taking, and you, intentionally or not, have made the taking of it just a little bit easier. You killed Vic for me. I wish you'd done the same to Val, but at least you put him on ice. So, thanks. Is that sarcasm? Well, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm... Liberty Buchanan? My name is Lucia Wesson, and I call you out for the deaths of my family and the kidnapping of my father. Return him to me without delay. Also, I demand satisfaction from you, gun to gun. That'll have to wait until we're done here. But you can speed the proceedings and the release of your father if you switch sides and fight for me. No thank you, Miss Buchanan. I know what my father would say to such a proposal. Unfortunately, it's not fit for polite company. Or yours. Then you'll have no one to blame but yourself when he dies, will you? Now, where were we? Oh, right. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers. And I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? Oh, they wouldn't dare. I'd... I'd... Oh, I suppose it's true. The warlords don't like a loser, and they will see this as a defeat. Fine. I can play the penitent daughter until the old man dies. My time will come. You're a prisoner. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead, Team November. That's amazing, November 1. How did, uh... Well, you know what? Never mind. I'd rather hear this one in person. Transport is inbound to pick up one Liberty Buchanan. Well done, Team November. Over and out. Thank you for the rescue, friends. Forgive me for not looking my best. These savages haven't allowed me a bath or a change of clothes since they kidnapped me. I'm Percival Wesson of the Hundred Families. Daddy? Oh, thank God I found you. I've been praying for this day. Peaches, you're alive. I can't believe it. I, I was so afraid that... <laughs> oh. But, Daddy, Mama and little Percy are dead. The Dorseys killed them in the Garden of the Gods. I, I couldn't, I couldn't protect. Hush, Lucia, hush. You would have saved them if it was possible to do so. I know that. Aren't you the bravest daughter that ever was? I tried to be, Daddy. I went after Nelius Dorsey to get my revenge. 
The Rangers and I found him and confronted him. You, uh, you talked to Nelius? The Rangers wouldn't kill him, but he shot himself. Mama and Percy are avenged. It's complicated. I... No, no, it's not. I won't lie to you, Lucia. Not when you're all I have left. Neely has told you the truth. Oh, Daddy. I I'm sorry, darling. Truly. You see, years ago, the Patriarch asked me to get some men together and disrupt a meeting of the Dorseys, who were agitating to establish elections in Colorado. Saul, he, he didn't feel it was time for that yet. So we showed up in hoods, brandishing clubs, ready to teach them all a lesson. But it only took one Dorsey fighting back, and I started shooting instead of swinging. I, I was just so mad that they'd turn on the man who had saved us all. Well, once one was dead, we had to kill the rest, didn't we? I mean, we, we couldn't let my sins tarnish Saul's reputation. So we hunted him down. <laughs> Until Nelius showed up at our doorstep, I thought we'd got them all. I... <sighs> Not in so many words. Maybe I just thought that's what he wanted. He certainly wasn't displeased when I told him what had happened. He just told me to be damn sure I got all the witnesses. And we... We never spoke of it again. Oh. Daddy. Mama and Percy. You... They... They'd still be alive if you hadn't killed those Dorseys. It all comes back around to you. <laughs> what do I do now, Rangers? What do I do... with my father? Huh. Let him live or die by the rule of law that he talked so much about when I was growing up. Yes. That seems just. Whatever the judgment is, I will accept it. I deserve any punishment they mete out. Then I will take you to Sheriff Daisy. Let's go home, Father. That's right. There's work yet to be done, isn't there? Daddy, will you promise me that you will go home and wait for me? I will. I promise. I will be there when you get back. I love you, Lucia. Never forget that. Be a better Western than I was. Project Solution built and ready for execution. Yield return sensor config. Compiler report. Zero errors. Zero warnings. Running constructors. Sensor data stream has produced a viable enhancement model. Device recorded hours of agent activity and constructed final device to maximize efficiency.
Yippee ki -yay, cowboys. Dead red checking in. Come back secure, you copy? Roger that. So, give me the news. Is Liberty Buchanan handled? Can't say I'm happy to hear it. Might just bite you in the ass later. Might bite all of us in the ass. I hope you're at least ready to help with the second part of the plan. A little bird told me you've been making friends in high places. Got the sheriff and the families backing you now. So we might be able to get Buchanan to step down without spilling any blood. You on board with that plan? Fantastic. Let's rendezvous at Ranger HQ to coordinate. Dead red out. November, you're here. Great. Ready to go have our little talk with the Patriarch anytime you are. But, uh... You might want to see what your pals are thinking first. Wouldn't be a good idea to bring anybody along who wasn't on board with it all. When I first saw you rolling up here in that old junker, I never thought it would come to this. And I never thought I'd be on board with it, but... Seems like you've got everybody who's anybody to go along with you. So I think it just might work out. And old Saul's been tired lately. Maybe he's ready for it too. Even if he can't admit it. I'm in. Not even a month ago, I would have called this treason, Rangers. But you have showed me sides of the Patriarch I didn't think existed, and... Well, if Uncle Gideon is with you on this, then I am too. As I know he has always cared only for the well-being of our state. I will follow you in this task. I am... Um, whatever it is. Depends on if it is also the path to helping our comrades back in Arizona. Swear to me that you'll finish the mission once we've taken down the Patriarch, and I am with you. Okay, this is... well, it's not what I was expecting, but you work with what life hands you. I'm ready.
I know the Patriarch's not the guy we hoped he was, but he's the one we made the deal with, and I don't want to wreck the deal. So I'm still not convinced taking any action against him, even a peaceful one, is in Arizona's best interests. All right, Rangers, I hope you're right. I'll be holding you to it. My people are telling me things are quiet. We'll catch old Saul with his pants down. Despite that, he might still try to take a swing at you when you tell him to step down. So if you want to take a moment to resupply, now's the time. When you're done with that, we'll mosey on down to the Patriarch's palace and say hello. Do you really expect me to believe you're just going to talk it out? Sergei, we've talked about this. It's time. The Patriarch has lost sight of the future. And if he listens to us, he'll survive along with everyone else. And if he won't listen, well, we'll follow your lead, November. I am, November. I just... I've known Saul since before he founded Colorado. I've never acted against his orders once. So, so this whole thing makes me uncomfortable. I can tell you've got Colorado's best interest in mind, and the Saul I knew would respect that. I just hope he doesn't go down fighting. All the important people know and have your support. After the Patriarch has been dealt with, I'll inform the rest. There'll be less resistance if you've already taken power. The families I'm concerned about will fall in line if I can lead with the news that the takeover is a fait accompli. This has been a difficult choice for many of us, November, but your honor and restraint have made it easier. Thank you. Colorado will be forever grateful. I wouldn't be here if they weren't. I've got my most trusted people in position. The rank and file will move into the city when we reach the palace. I'm not expecting trouble, but if something does happen, the marshals will step in and take care of it. The smoother this goes, the better. I'm gonna leave my crew here, just in case anyone gets cold feet and tries to warn him. But I'm coming with you. I started this, and it wouldn't be right if I didn't see it to the end. So glad you brought back Rook and Laloka. You really think an outsider is gonna do any better job than the Patriarch? Bullshit. I got my head down <laughs> doing a valve job, and the next thing I know, everything's changing. Unreal. Glad you're trying to end this peacefully. Just don't forget about Arizona when it all gets resolved. They're dead if we don't bring the maid. You ask me? I think Colorado will be in good hands now. Thanks, Rangers. If you found a way to do this without anyone having to die, I'm all for it, Rangers. I'd never have believed Daisy would turn on the Patriarch if she hadn't told me so herself. Later, Rangers! You really think an outsider is gonna do any better job than the Patriarch? Were you there when that merc from Vegas tried to pick a fight with me in the Black Rock Bar? What? No. Who'd be stupid enough to pick a fight with you? Huh. He didn't know me. Just saw a little chick with a ranger star in her hat and decided to give me some shit. Uh-oh. Started saying the rangers ain't shit, and when did they start recruiting midgets and like that? What an idiot. I ignored him, trying to be good, you know. But then he says he's gonna prove we're all talking no action. He takes out his gun and tells Ramon to give him all the money in the till, like he's daring me to arrest him. Jesus, where'd you bury the body? 
It almost came to that, but fortunately, Muldoon came out of the shitter before I got my knife too far into his neck, and we just arrested him. Ha! <laughs> Thank God for that. Dude must have drunk a fuck ton of beer, because when he pissed himself, his pants were wet down to the cuffs. The path to peace wasn't totally bloodless. But somehow, Rangers, you kept the majority alive for the long term. I just hope you're prepared to deal with the needs of the many. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. Connie filled us in. I hope you know what you're doing, November. Arizona needs us. I feel like I haven't done enough to thank you for letting me be here. Helping your people has made me so happy. I hope you scallywags know what you're doing. It's my understanding you negotiated a peaceful solution to the problems that plague Colorado's succession. It seems you've learned a thing or two about manners, Rangers. And a most pleasant day to you too, November. Felicitations. What if we had animatronic displays, like in the Patriarch's Museum in downtown? We're going to need a whole new set of exhibits to tell this story. We'll need statues of Team November, too. Or maybe a diorama. did with the best of intentions, but it still broke the laws of Colorado. Yeah, and what else could I have done? You could have asked for assistance, gone through proper channels. And what channels would those be? Name one that would have helped those people. Well, I thought so. It's true. Overthrow my father? Law while to catch you wouldn't! With justice, you can't! But you just have to keep prodding it. <laughs> like I'm gonna prod some of Cannon's carbuncle backside while this is. Rangers, if you can pull off this transition of power peacefully, I would create a new dish for the occasion. I would call it Unity Robin. Radio is clear, November. I'll make sure it stays open for you, and uh, good luck with the Patriarch. You won't be happy, but I think it's time. I can't tell you how relieved I am. Sheriff Daisy sent us the word. You won't get trouble from us. Ah, the heroes of the hour. Here you are, all present and correct. With this, my nation is once again secure. You've earned the reward I promised your general. What? What are you saying to me? 
We're saying it's time for you to sing Happy Trails, Buckaroo. Who are you? I don't know you. Nobody important, Hefe. Just a red-headed stranger, here to watch the end of the movie. You're all crazy. Don't you see you're surrounded by my marshals? Gentlemen, show these idiots what happens to jumped-up mercs who get big ideas. What the hell is this? Stand down! Ha! <laughs> A show trial. First step on the road to tyranny. All right then, I'm ready. Always did love a circus. Well, that's that. So what's the plan now, cowboys? You gonna stay here and help keep this place peaceful? That's the honorable thing to do, and it just might get me back in Woodson's good graces. And thanks for staying. We're gonna have a wild ride ahead of us trying to tame this place. At least it'll be interesting, yeah? If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. Hard times in Arizona with the rangers and the settlers giving ground. To the raiders and militia, and it seemed we'd lose the good life that we found. Find my kids and I will help you save your land So we rode for Colorado Praying that he'd be an honest man In Denver we found valor A son who didn't live up to his name Turned against his father, siding with the old man's rival, seeking fame. Though these rivals tried to stop us, we captured valor like we said we would. And brought him home to daddy, who made it pretty clear to And we made our way to Aspen to find Buchanan's misbegotten son. The sick old name of victory who pulled the legs off Hume was just a fun. Though we promised not to kill him after seeing what he'd done, he had died. Brought trouble from Buchanan. We didn't notice any others cry. On the track halfway to Kansas, we found Buchanan's daughter making plans to conquer Colorado with the help of desperados, gangs, and clans. Surrender, we promise not to end or come what may. So we shot the folks around her, then bound her, and we took her from the grave. In the end, it became clear that Buchanan was no better than his kids. If we 
man who stay in power, Colorado would be heading for the skin. So with the blessing of his subjects, we tried him for his crimes and took his throne. And thus we rescued Colorado and still saved our dear old Arizona. saved him or betrayed him if we did the job we went for or we failed but when the winter turns to spring the news newcomers bring they'll know
Yeah, so no spotless, if it clean as snow. 